الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی ان محمد و علی و صحبی و سلم اما بعد امام نووی رحم اللہ تعالی سید ان ہز بک اربعین اربعین نووی ان دی چیپٹر ہی دا سیکشن ان ٹائٹل الاقتصار الحلال الطیب سفائسنگ وتھ that which is good and lawful letting us know that of course there are many things that are unlawful and there are those things which are not beneficial for us an abi hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna allah ta'ala tayyib la yaqbalu ila tayyib wa inna allah amara mu'minin bima amara bihi al-mursalin فقال تعالى يا أيها الرسل كل من طيبات فقال تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا كل من طيبات ما رزقناكم ثم ذكر الرجل يطيل السفر أشأث الأغبر يمد يديه إلى السماء يا رب يا رب ومتعمه حرام وملبسهم حرام وغذي وغذي بالحرام فأن يستجاب له رواه مسلم من الحديث صحيح مسلم that Imam Anawawi mentioned the hadith of Abi Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said verily Allah the Almighty is طيب and طيب as we will get to very shortly from the explanation of uh, Imam Ibn Daqiq al-Eid Rahmatullah alayhi Where he said At-tayyib fi sifati la bima'na Munazzeh An al-naqa'is Meaning that Allah That At-tayyib Means perfection So verily Allah Is perfect In Allah Ta'ala Tayyib Verily Allah the Almighty is Perfect La yaqbala ila tayyib And he doesn't accept that Except that which is good. And verily, verily Allah commanded the believers with what he commanded the messengers. And then he said the Almighty. Ya Rasul kulu min tayyibat. O you messengers, eat from that which is good. And then, in accordance with the saying of Allah the Almighty, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قُلُوا مِنْ طَيِّبَاتِ مَا رَزَقَنَاكُمْ O you who believe, eat from the good things which we have provided for you. Then he mentioned, meaning the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, a man who had traveled extensively and was covered with dust who upheld his hands uh, you know his, the palm of his hands upward to the sama to the in the direction of the sky saying my lord my lord and his food was haram his clothing was haram his provisions were haram so how can he be how can his uh, how can he be answered and this is in sahih muslim imam ibn taqiq al eid he said wa hadha hadith ahad ahadith alati alayha qawaid al islam wa mubani al ahkam wa fihi hath ala infaq min al halal wa nahi an al infaq min ghayrihi wa an wa an al makula ومشرب وملبس وملبس ونحوها ينبغي أن يكون حلالا خالصا لا شبه فيه وأن من أراد دعاء كان أولى بإعتناء بذلك من غيره وفيه أن العبد إذا أنفق نف نفقة طيبة فهي التي تزكو وتنمو وأن الطعام اللذيذ 
غير مباح يكون وبالا على أكله ولا يقبل الله عمله إمام ابن, uh, ابن دقيق العيد he said regarding this hadith he said this hadith is one of the ahadith that the principles of Islam are built upon and its ahkam meaning uh, the rulings the jurisprudent rulings and in, in, in it in this hadith it is an encouragement to spin from that which is lawful, from the halal, and a prohibition from spending from the haram. And that the uh, what is eaten and, and drank and worn and other than that uh, must be lawful and pure without any, uh, you know, it shouldn't be doubtful things, it shouldn't be doubtful. Is my clothing uh, halal or haram? I, I'm not really sure. I'm wearing skinny jeans. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing that. Or is this food halal or haram? I really don't know. There's a lot of doubt in it. So this is what Imam uh, Ibn Daqiq al-Eid is, is mentioning here. So that it should have should contain none of those things. It shouldn't have any shuba. And that uh, what is uh, the, the person who who wishes to supplicate to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala first and foremost, or is more deserving of having the halal and being away from the the doubts contained in their provisions. They, they need this even more so because they're worshipping Allah and they want their dua to be accepted. And then he said, and in it, meaning in this hadith, also is contained that the servant, that if they uh, spend from righteous provisions, and uh, that this will be a purification for them. And that... Uh, that food which is delicious but is impermissible will be a, 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 a test and no benefit by eating it. And Allah does not accept this person's deeds. And then he mentions the meaning of tayyib here. That it is from the... When it when Tayyib in this in the way it's referenced in this hadith is referencing uh, one of the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa taala with the meaning that he is uh, perfect, free from any imperfection or any shortcomings. Subhanahu wa taala. Also. Then Imam the uh, Ibn Daqiq al Eid, alayhi, he mentioned that when the Prophet وسلم, said, when he mentioned that Rajul Yatila Safar Ashad Akbar Akbar Ila Akhirhi Ma'anahu Wallahu Alam Yatila Safar Fi Wuju Ta'at. This is very good. So Imam Ibn Daqiq al Eid. He mentioned that when the Prophet ﷺ told the story of the man who was uh, had had sat, traveled on a long journey and was you know dusty and and so forth that uh, until the rest of the hadith he said the meaning and then he says and Allah knows best and this shows us the tawa that the humbleness of the ulama these are the imams of the religion and he said Allah knows best this is what he understood it as a great imam of the deen and he said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and he said that this uh, extensive traveling or this journey was in regards to, is referring to a journey, the person was on a journey of obedience to Allah, meaning making hajj, what he had, or and other duties from the righteous actions and duties. 
And then he said, وَمَعَ هَذَا فَلَا يَسْتَجَابْ لَهُ لِكَوْنْ مَتْعَمَهُ وَمَشْرَبَهُ وَمَلْبَسُهُ حَرَامًا فَكَيْفَ هُوَ بِمَنْ هُوَ مَنْ هَمَاكْ فِي الدُّنْيَا أو في مظالم العبد عباد أو من الغافلين عن أنواع العبادات والخير. So then he mentioned, he said, this is the case of the person who is traveling for a righteous purpose to do a good, a good deed of righteousness, like Hajj and Jihad and other acts of uh, other types of traveling for righteous purposes. And and with regards to this, his du'a was not accepted, meaning that he was traveling for such a, a great purpose. This is according to the ta'wil or the explanation of uh, Ibn Daqiq al-Eid. So he's saying that this hadith is mentioning a man, and he, and he says Allah knows best, who was traveling extensively. And he was traveling to do a deed of righteousness like hajj or, or jihad or... Uh, some other act of righteousness and his supplication was still not accepted <clears throat> because his food that he uh, his provisions were were haram the, his, his drinking was haram the clothing he wore was haram so then how much more so is it for the person who only concerned with the dunya or a person who oppresses the servants or the one who is from those people who are ignorant of the various types of, of worship and goodness. How much more so for them is what he's saying with regards to having their dua accepted and may Allah protect us from being amongst them. I mean. And then he said, وَقَوْلُهُ يَمَدَّ يَدَيْهِ أَيْ يَرْفَعْهُمَا بِدُعَى لِلَّهِ مَا الْمُخَالَفَاتِهِ وَإِسْيَانِهِ So he said, uh, the meaning of raising his hands, he says, meaning to raise them in supplication to Allah, even with the shortcomings that this person had and the sinfulness that he had. And then he said, he explained that the taking in the provisions of the haram, wa bil haram, he explained that, you know, this person partook in that which is haram, and then he said, wa qawlu fa inna yistajab lahu, wa fi ruwaya fa inna yistajab li thalik. So in, in uh, one narration, uh, the narration we mentioned, so then how can he be answered in another narration is uh, f for how can he be answered with regards to all of that? And then he explains, يعني, من أين يستجاب لمن هذه صفته فإنه ليس أهلا للإجابة أهلا لإجابة لكن يجوز أن يستجيب يستجيب لله يستجيب يستجيب الله تعالى له تفضلا ولطفا وكراما والله أعلم. So then he said, explaining this last uh, sentence, which is very important, very beneficial. He said that it means that how can he be answered, or how can the one uh, be answered who fits this description? For because surely this person is not a person who's ahlin li ijaba, who is a person who deserves to be answered. This person is not from those people who deserve to be answered because they're in total disobedience to Allah. But then he says, lakin yajuz in yastajib Allah ta'ala lahu. He said, but however, of course it is, if you want to say permissible or that it's possible that Allah, will, the Almighty, will answer him as a uh, showing his gentleness and his 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 greatness and superiority 
and his mercy of uh, towards his servants and Allah knows best. So that was a great faida with regards to that hadith and may Allah accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.